Hi everyone. In a previous video, we show how you can move data from one environment to another environment and keep the goods using Excel import and export. Today in that video, we can do the same, but we're going to be using configuration migration tool and configuration migration tool is going to allow you to move the data from one environment to another environment and to keep the relationship. Keep in mind, you can use configuration migration tool only if you want to move data that's called master data or configuration data. You can't use this in a larger scale. You just use it in the data that is needed to run your system. Now, let's stop talking and show time. So what I'm going to show you is in this time, we're going to migrate two types of data or the data for two records from the groups and the agents, and we're going to use the configuration migration tool. And like I said before, and like I keep saying, if you're going to use something like configuration migration tool, this will help you to just move the configuration data or a master data. The good thing about using the configuration migration tool that it allows you to move the data for multiple entities or tables that have relationship. So as an example, what we're going to do over here, we're going to move the data for two entities, groups and agents. And if we open any one of those um, groups, we will see the group name and we will see the agent. So the agent over here is a lookup for the group. So there is a relationship between the group and the agents. To make things easy on you, it's better in the environment that you're going to move the data from, which is a dev environment like I have over here, to go and create a solution. And in that solution, you put the data or you put the entities that you want to have. So what I did previously before the uh, the demo I, that I prepared, I went ahead and in the dev environment, I created a solution called the groups and agents. And inside that solution, I added both tables and I'm going to show you why we need to do that. So go your source environment, create a solution, put all the entities you need to move using the configuration migration tool. Step number two is we're going to open the configuration migration tool. And when you open configuration migration tool, the first it's going to tell you you need to create a schema or export data or import data. So what we will need to select over here, we need to select create a schema. And when we create the schema, we can also do export the data with it. So we select create a schema, then continue. Then you put your username and password. And of course, you say this is an Office 365. If you are an Office 365, login. You pick the source environment, login. And then over here, it will show you the solutions that you have. By default, it picks the default solution. And over here, it tells you the entity that lives inside the default solution. So if I click like I did right now, it's going to show you all the entities. And when you select a specific entity, it's going to show you all the fields inside the entity. This is why I said it's going to be way easier if you put the data that you want to move from one environment to another environment in one solution. So instead, if you go over here, I'll try to look for the entities slash table. We already created a solution which is called uh, groups and agents. And in that solution, there is a two tables slash entities that we need to move the data for. So you can just select each one and create add entity, or you can just say add all. And by the way, you can also pick a specific fields in this, you want to move and you can, you know, select to move all the fields. In our case, I want to move all the data for the agents and group, and I want to move all the fields. So for the sake of that demo, we're going to just say add all. So over here, it's going to tell you that it added the agent entity, it added the group entity, and you can do something called validate schema just to make sure that there is no relationship is missing or there is no um, uh, dependencies on any tables uh, is missing somewhere else. So you can click validate schema. It's going to tell you everything looks good. After that, I'm going to say save and export. 
and this is the previous ones. So over here you can say, as an example, uh, you can save the schema and in XML we can say, let's call it G and A schema, save. It tells you now I saved the schema. Do you wanna save the data? So yes, we wanna export the schema and the data. So we're gonna click yes. And then here it asks you for a place to save the data file. So what we can also come and say G and E data. And it's again stores the data in a zip file, save, and then export. So what is gonna happen in the export? It's gonna export the records for the group and for the agents, and it's gonna keep the relationship. And all of that is stored into the G and A data file. After that, we can click exit. The last step that we need to now import the data into the other environment that we, we, we want to put the data in. So we can go back to the configuration migration tool and we can say import data, continue. It's going to ask us to log in again, login. Now we're going to select the uh, environment and we're going to click login. And just we show you that in that environment, which is the test environment, I have nothing in the groups and I have nothing in the agents. Let's import the data and see groups and agents are populated in the test environment. I'm going to go back over here. It asks me in the configuration migration tool, where is the source of that data? So I'm going to select G and A data open and then I click import. It first validates the schema, then it do parsing, then it imports nine records of agent and seven records of group. Now we can exit. And if we go to the test environment, and if we, uh, this is test, if we refresh, so we will see the agents over here and we will see the group. Let's make a validation test and see if the data has been migrated with the goods or not. So as an example in the test, let's open this GHI accounting. Let's take the GOID. Let's put it in the bad. This is test and this is my way of validation. And if we go back again and open dev, and this was GHI accounting. So let's open GHI accounting again. And if I take that GOID from dev, yeah, we will see that the GOIDs are matching. So let's go to check as an example, that agent. So if I open Michael Brown inside dev, and if I check the ID for Michael Brown, Dave, not December. And if I go again in test, and if I open Michael Brown, I take the GOID, I put it over here. Now we will see that the GOIDs match. So using configuration migration tool is really a great tool that help you to move data from one environment to another environment, and it helps you to keep the relationship. It also helps you to keep the gigawatts. Again, don't use it in a large amount of data. Just use it if you wanna use, uh, if you wanna migrate like configuration data or master data. I hope you liked this video. If you see it helpful, please leave a comment below and feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you. See you in the other video.